All right, here I am on the Jackson Boulevard Railroad Crossing in Elkhart, Indiana. Now, this is another rather neat crossing owned by the Elkhart and Western Railway, which is a short line that extends out from the NS Chicago line and continues west from there and eventually ends. So, yeah, and although most of the crossings on this line are cross bucks but they have some interesting stuff too so i might as well tour them so yeah and this crossing um had some interesting equipment in the past and uh it still has some remnants of them now regardless of the fact they've been upgraded but i guess i'll explain as i go on so i guess with that said let's get to it so for the first signal this has a Harmon cantilever and here's the emergency information and the dot tag and the dot number is 522674l and um yep it's pretty neat stuff. And for the gate mechanism, this has a Western Cola Hayes gate mechanism, newer generation. Now, worth mentioning, this crossing used to have two USNS Model 75 gate mechanisms, which was basically uh, Uni Switch and Signals, um, you know, version of the Wabco Model 75 gate mechanisms. But sadly, they were replaced sometime in 2020. But they kept the masts, as you can see. And oddly enough, you can see on the mast, on the gate mast, there used to be a side pair of lights here. And this is sitting on a safe train base. And this features some uh, NEG LED gate lights and a wind guard. And this is actually the same mass that they used for the other gate mechanism. And as you can see, they actually did reuse the old counterweights for them. And for the lights, this ha for the mass lights, this has two pairs of them Western Colon Hayes 12 by 20 inch uh, second generation LEDs. All sitting on a Western Colon Hayes light bracket. Now this crossing used to have 8 inch lights in the past. I believe Harman 8 inch lights due to, you know, the Harman cantilever. And for the overhead lights, this has two more pairs of Western Colon Hayes 12 by 20 inch second generation LEDs sitting on a safe train light bracket. And this has no bell on it. So yeah, I guess with that said, let's go ahead and move on to the next signal. So I guess this right here is Elkhart and Western's busiest crossing since this is where they store most of their stuff at. So yeah. So I guess with that said, let's go ahead and go over here. And you can see the, there's some vintage traffic lights around that they shoved LEDs in, though. So, yeah, and for the next signal, which is similar to the first, this has another Harman cantilever. And here's the emergency information in the down number once again. And for the gate mechanism, this has another Western Colon Hayes gate mechanism, newer generation, replacing another USNS Model 75 gate mech in the past, sitting on a safe tram base. And this has more NEG LED gate lights and a wind guard. And this doesn't have a mast as tall as that one, though quite funky how that looks and for the light for the mass lights this has two pair two more pairs of western colon haze 12 by 20 inch second generation leds sitting on a western colon haze light bracket and for the overhead lights once again has two more pairs of them safe train 12 by 20 inch uh shoot second generate 12 by 20 inch second generation leds sitting on a western colon haze light bracket Jeez, my mind is going to jelly today <laughs> And once again, this has no bell on it. Now, the weird part is there supposedly is a bell on this crossing, but I believe it's mounted on the relay case. So if not, then this this crossing right here, interestingly, like, in interestingly enough, is completely bellless, which is pretty cool. So, so anyway, with that said, this was the Jackson Boulevard crossing in Elkhart. Here's the relay case, which is quite large, as you can see has a safe train lock on it there might be a bell inside of the relay case but not outside which is quite weird and you can see the indicator light and some ga old gates piled up so yeah with all that said let's go to look at the take a look at the track view down there is heading west towards you know uh Elkhart Avenue and Beards and uh Beardsley Road you can see this is where they store most of their cars and their locomotives here's one of their GP9s number 912 and there's another one behind it I think it's a Jeep, another Jeep, number 5008. And down there is heading east towards a crossbuck crossing on Prairie Street. You see uh, a sidewalk and, you know, a bunch of crossbucks and whatnot. And this is where I think it merges onto the other line. So, yeah, with all that said, this right here was the Jackson Boulevard Railroad Crossing. Oh, there's a ton of cops coming. <laughs> Let me pause. I don't know what the whole ordeal is. Anyways, as I was saying, this was the Jackson Boulevard Railroad Crossing in uh, Elkhart, Indiana. Pretty neat stuff and pretty neat history. Now, I'm genuinely curious if this crossing even has a bell or not, so I might get in action sometime for y'all if I could. So yeah, I guess with all that said, over and out.